Susan, it's been a long time. How have you been? Huh? Who are you? Hey, hey, it's me, Daniel. Don't tell me you forgot. Huh? Oh, Daniel. You remember me? I haven't heard from you for so long. I forgot all about you. What do you want? You're so cold. Can't I message you for no reason? We used to be engaged, you know. What's the point now? You said, don't contact me again, you poor ugly bitch, and blocked me one-sidedly just before the wedding, right? Oh, did I do that? It was so long ago, I don't remember much. <laughs> we were engaged, you know. We had to cancel the wedding on short notice and got a lot of people in trouble. You made me call each and every one of the guests to apologize. It was really hard work. It can't be helped, can it? That's what I had to do at the time. I don't understand. You proposed to me, and you dumped me out of nowhere? Of course I proposed to you because I loved you. You were honest, kind, and looks okay. But I bumped into this girl who's like hundreds of times prettier than you, and her family is rich. It's natural to be attracted to her. Oh, so you blocked me so you could switch to her? Exactly. <laughs> You're such an asshole. Well, well, well. No need to bring the old story up again, right? That's true. Talking about it makes me sick. So, what do you want? If you don't want anything in particular, can we just get this over with? I don't even want to think about you anymore. Don't be in such a rush. <laughs> I messaged you today to tell you something important. Shoot. Marry me. What? You are surprised, aren't you? You didn't think I was going to propose to you. I... Hey, Susan, give me your answer. Are you too happy to say anything? No, I decline. Oh, come on. You don't need to be shy. <laughs> You've been waiting for me to propose to you again, haven't you? No, I haven't. You're not being honest. You're actually happy, aren't you? Well... If you're just harassing me, I'll end this message exchange now. I don't have time for this. Huh? Wait a minute. Why do you think I harass you? I just ask you to marry me. You have a pretty rich girlfriend, don't you? You cheated on me with her and dumped me. I don't understand why you're proposing to me now. I broke up with her. What? I broke it off with her less than a year after we started dating. You didn't marry her? Impossible. She was beautiful, but that was all. Because her family was rich, she didn't want to work at all. She just wanted me to make money and take care of her. I guess it's true what they say. You get tired of beautiful girls after three days. Hmm. But Susan, you were totally different in that regard. Your looks are average, but you do your job very well. I heard you started your own company. Yes, but who told you that? Our friends from school. We were in the same club in college, right? The other day, I went out for a drink with my friends from it. You were the talk of the town. Oh, really? It's amazing that you became president in your 20s. It seems that you didn't make much money when you worked for a company. But now, you're making over 700000 a year, right? I'm really starting to look at you in a new light. Oh, yeah? But you know, being a president is hard, right? There's a lot of work. A lot of responsibility. That's why I'll stay by your side and support you. No, thank you. Why not? I have no intention of marrying you at all. You feel so happy inside that you want to jump up and down, don't you? <laughs> You've always been so shy. Why won't you listen to me? 
Do you want Cartier for the engagement ring? Or Tiffany's, after all? Oh, but you're not really into jewelry, are you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Leave it to me to choose the wedding venue. You're the president of the company. You have a lot of guests to invite. I'm sure we'll have to get a pretty big venue. Um, Daniel? What about the honeymoon? Should we go to Paris, your favorite place? Or a resort somewhere for some relaxation? Well, I'm going to be busy from now on. Wait a minute. What? I said I'm not getting married to you. Why are you going on about rings and honeymoons? It's okay. I know exactly how you feel. Huh? I know you're actually happy that I proposed to you. You're just acting like you don't like it to cover up your embarrassment. That's not true. Well, we'll talk about the wedding date again. I'll call you when I've decided on a venue. See you. Susan, I heard from a college friend of mine. What a surprise. You've already registered your marriage. You're really impatient, aren't you? Usually, couples go to register their marriage together, don't they? Isn't it a crime to register a marriage without permission? What's the name of the crime? Forgery of a private document? I'm not sure. What are you talking about? Well, as for me, I'm totally fine with marrying you, so don't worry about that. But I wish you had talked to me about it. I wanted to take a picture of the moment you put out the marriage certificate. I didn't submit a marriage certificate to you. Ha ha ha. It's okay. I'm not mad. Huh? You couldn't wait to be married to me. You got ahead of yourself, didn't you? Maybe your action was illegal in some way, but don't worry about it. No, listen. Well, if we've registered our marriage, I guess this means we are now officially husband and wife. No, listen to me. Thank you, honey. I know you did it for me and my family. You got the marriage registered early for us, didn't you? My family? What are you talking about? I really appreciate your concern. Huh? I'm looking forward to a new life with you starting tomorrow. I don't know what's going on here. Susan, I'm ready to move out. I'll bring my stuff there tomorrow. Bring your stuff where? Your place, of course. I can't wait for tomorrow. We're finally going to start our newlywed life, aren't we? Wait a minute. Are you seriously going to move into my apartment? Of course I am. We're married now. I'm impressed. You are indeed a president. You're still in your 20s and you get to live on the top floor of a high rise. How do you even know where I live? I'm scared. I followed you coming home from work. <laughs> it's like a dream that tomorrow I'll be living in a high rise. This is disgusting. You stalked me. What are you talking about? Trying to cover up your feelings again? Oh yeah, now that we're married, I'm inviting my family. Starting tomorrow, 13 relatives of mine will be living with us. What? Your place is big, isn't it? You have a lot of room for an additional 13 people to live there, right? Wait a minute. 13 relatives? Let's see. My dad, my mom, my grandma and grandpa... My three brothers, my uncle and his wife, and their two kids. And two of my dad's cousins are coming too, so 13 people in total. I didn't ask for a breakdown. Oh yeah, there's a cat. You're not allergic to cats, are you? I'm not allergic to cats, but... I really wanted to enjoy our honeymoon alone with you. But I've just recently been laid off from my job, and I only got a new job at a lower salary. I've been supporting my parents on my own for a long time, and it's getting harder and harder to make ends meet. But you are my wife now, so you can feed my mom and dad, right? And if we live together, we can get free rent. Why are the other relatives coming with you? 
They were all in need of money too. My relatives all love to gamble and have debts. When I offered them to live with me in a high-rise building, they were so happy to accept. It's good, isn't it? It's more fun with more people. I'm speechless. Well, that's why we're all headed there tomorrow. Make sure you save a place to put our stuff. It's for 13 people, so it's going to be a lot. What? No, no, no. You can't move into my place. It's Sunday tomorrow, so you're off work, right? The moving trucks are expected to arrive tomorrow afternoon. Huh? Oh, you don't have to help us bring in the stuff. We've got plenty of manpower. Just make sure you leave room for our luggage. That's all I ask. Hey. Once we're settled with the move, we'll get ready for the wedding. And then we'll plan our honeymoon. See ya. Wait a minute. I'm not marrying you. And I'm definitely not going to live with your relatives. Daniel! Hey, Susan. I'm at the front of the building now. Wow, you're really here. What's the room number? I'm not gonna tell you. It's no use resisting. Ha 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 ha. My relatives are already here with me, so hurry up and tell me your room number. I don't want to. Get the hell out of here. What are you so angry about? I never said you could move in with me. Still, you brought your relatives. Unbelievable. Can you say such things? Ha ha ha. If you don't open the door soon, you'll get in trouble with the neighbors. Ha 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 ha. What do you mean? Five moving trucks are occupying the entrance, man. I'm sure the neighbors won't be happy about this. Ha 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 ha. What are you doing? You're disturbing the neighborhood. Get out of there now. Then hurry up and give me a room number. Open the automatic lock. If you don't, I'm going to keep on pressing all the room numbers and ringing all the bells. Stop it. I really mean it. It's your fault for being so stubborn. Well now, what room number should I try next? Daniel, calm down and listen to me for once. What the hell? There are a lot of old people over here. They're all waiting outside in the cold. What are you going to do if they catch a cold? Listen, I don't know why the hell you got the wrong idea, but you and I are strangers. Why should I have a stranger's relatives live with me? Oh, come on. I'm your husband, right? Maybe you prefer to live separately even after marriage, but you're supposed to help your husband's relatives in trouble. You're the one who registered the marriage in the first place. It's true. I did register the marriage, but... See? That's why we're supposed to work together as a couple. Just hear me out. What? I'm not married to you. What? I got a marriage certificate, but it's not with you. Huh? What do you mean? I registered my marriage to my fiancé. So, your fiancé is me, right? No, it's not. I've been dating someone for two years. I registered my marriage to him. What the hell? You... You've been cheating on me? What kind of logic is that? You and I broke up three years ago. No, it's cheating. I was with you first. If you say that, then most married people in the world are cheating on their partners. You were the one who cheated on me when we were engaged in the first place. Wait a minute. I thought you wanted to marry me so badly that you took the liberty of registering the marriage. I would never do that. I haven't heard from you in three years. Oh, I get it. Maybe this is a surprise? Huh? Okay, you're trying to surprise me by being cold on purpose, aren't you? Wow, this is hilarious. I almost took you seriously. How could you even think of that? Are you filming me with a camera? You're secretly filming me being in trouble, right? And then you show up with a surprise and hug me. That was the plan, wasn't it? 
Sorry, I've already seen through you. Come out now. You can't fool me. <laughs> I'm so disgusted. How can you be so delusional? I'm not delusional. It's a fact that you and I are married. Like I said before, I didn't file marriage papers with you. We're complete strangers. Why not? You were engaged to me. That was a long time ago. That was only three years ago. I should have blocked you earlier. I get it. You were so disappointed that I dumped you. You got desperate and got engaged to another guy. Anybody. You didn't care who he was. No, of course not. He was the one who supported me when I was going through a tough time. When you broke off our engagement, I was so shocked that I distrusted men. I even thought I never wanted to get married again. But then I met him and he saved my life. We dated for two years before we decided to get married. I never got engaged out of desperation. Then that man must have been after your money. Huh? He must have approached you because you're the president. Otherwise, he wouldn't have wanted to marry an ugly bitch like you. Don't put him in the same boat with you. I mean, you finally told me what you really think. Well... Because I became president, you messaged me for the first time in three years, right? You called me a poor ugly woman and dumped me. And now, you're asking me to marry you? You're the one who approached me for money. Well, now that you've found out, it's done. I, of all people, proposed to you, and you went off with someone else. In return, I'm going to ruin your life. What? What are you going to do? I'm going to break through this door and get in. Don't do that, or I'll call the police. Call them if you want. Then I'll tell them you committed marriage fraud. When did I commit marriage fraud? Oh, crap. I threw a large ornament of the front door onto the ground. But it didn't break at all. Daniel, calm down. Please don't go crazy. Then marry me. Marry me and feed 13 of my relatives. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I broke up with you. Shut up. I was supposed to marry you and be rich, but you married another man. Such a selfish woman. You're the one who's selfish. You should blame yourself for leaving me three years ago. Shut up. Shut up. Or I'll make more fuss. You know, someone might get hurt. You'd better not. The police will be here soon. What? The police are already coming? Yup. Right after you told me you were moving in yesterday, I talked to the police. Huh? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter if you accuse me of marriage fraud. I never ask you to marry me. No way. Oh no, the police are coming this way. That's too bad. You will be caught red-handed for damage to property, so be prepared. Oh no, I don't want to get arrested. Hey Susan! Why don't you come downstairs and help me out? Explain to the police that I didn't do anything, please. I won't. You're the one who went on a rampage and broke things. And now you're telling me you didn't do anything? Besides, you told me to call the police if I wanted to. But I didn't think they'd actually come. Just give up and get arrested. Don't ever show yourself again. Susan, please help me. Goodbye forever, trash. Wait, Susan. I won't ask you to marry me anymore. I won't even bring my relatives. I don't want to be arrested. Please, don't abandon me. After that, it appeared that Daniel tried to escape alone, leaving his relatives behind. He was immediately caught by the police and taken away in a police car. His relatives who watched in amazement, were taken to the police station with him. According to what I heard, Daniel's relatives did not take his side. They said they did not want to move in and that Daniel had forced them to come to the place. Daniel was betrayed by his relatives. Considering what he did, I think he deserved it. 
He was then accused of damaging property by breaking the front door and ornaments. I felt sorry for the inconvenience he caused to the residents, but I'm very glad that no one was injured. And as a result of the discussion with my husband, we have decided to leave the place and to move to a different house. We don't want to have the same kind of trouble again in the future. Well, I don't think Daniel will ever come back to ask me to marry him. From now on, I would like to spend my time peacefully with my beloved husband in our new home. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.